The Nintendo Switch has had a great first year of games releasing on the system, but the second year is a little more slow. We have some big hitters releasing near the end of the 2018, but what should you play until then? My name is Shimushku and in this video I'm going to be showcasing 6 Switch games you should give a try. Before I start, I'm excluding big releases like Mario Odyssey and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild from this list since most people have already given it a try. Please remember that this list is based off of games that I have played and a game you like may not be on this list. Anyway, as always, if there's a game that you think should make this list, feel free to mention it in the comment section. Also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not already. With that out of the way, let's get to it. Splatoon 2 Splatoon 2 may be considered a major release of some, but I feel as if more people should experience the game. Splatoon shows that Nintendo can take a popular gaming genre and add their own twist to it. Splatoon is a third person shooter game, but unlike other shooter games, in Splatoon you play as a kid who can turn into a squid, and in the main mode of the game, the goal is to ink up more of the map than the other team. Like the first game, the main mode is Turf Wars as well as the rank battles, but in Splatoon 2 there is an addition of Salmon Run, a mode where 2-4 players go and defeat waves of unique enemies and the goal is to retrieve power eggs and golden eggs. Since Splatoon 2 released early in the Switch's lifespan, there are still updates coming out for the game such as new weapons and clothing, Splatfest still occurring, as well as the DLC Octolings pack. I highly suggest giving Splatoon 2 a shot if you're a Nintendo Switch owner. Rayman Legends Definitive Edition if you've played this game on the Wii U or any other system that it released on, then the experience playing on the Switch will be the same unless the portability of the Nintendo Switch is something you take advantage of. Rayman Legends is just like most of the other 2D platforming Rayman games. My personal favorite is doing the daily and weekly challenges, taking my platforming skills to the test and seeing how I rank with other players and pushing myself to do better. It'll do too. If you're itching for a Zelda fix after playing Breath of the Wild and waiting for the next Zelda game, It'll Do 2 is your answer. In It'll Do 2, you play as Idle as her and her flying fox friend get stranded on an island similar to the first game, and in order to get off the island, the player needs to explore dungeons and find all 8 pieces of a raft to get off the island. The game plays a lot like A Link Between Worlds on the 3DS, with the being able to tackle any of the dungeons as you'd like to, as well as similar to other Zelda clones, with getting weapons and abilities, taking down enemies and bosses, as well as puzzle solving. This game is super addicting and will fill any void a gamer may feel while waiting for the next Zelda game to be announced. Koi, Explorer's Edition If you are a fan of 3D platformers and collect-a-thon games, then this game is for you. In Koi, you play as two orphans, a boy and a girl who can be switched between freely in the hub world, but play the same way in their quest to find all the Explorer medallions. You are awarded the medallions by completing challenges. Most of these challenges are in form of levels for each world. In addition to the medallions to collect, there are fossils spread around each world to find, as well as golden gears to find as well. Koi plays a lot like any basic 3D platformer, but has a strong resemblance to Mario 64 and Mario Sunshine. Unfortunately, the game released around the same time as Mario Odyssey and it was brushed under the rug for Switch players, but overall Poi may be a hidden gem for the Nintendo Switch, and I always had a blast playing it. The only downside to this game that I could find is that the jumping is a little choppy, but after playing for a little bit you'll get used to it. Dragon Quest Builders In Dragon Quest Builders, the world is plummeted into darkness after the takeover of the Dragon Lord, and the ability to build things out of raw materials has been taken away. As a player, you awaken the world and you are the only one who is able to build. It's your job to restore building into the world and bring the world back to normal. Even though I haven't played a Dragon Quest game before, Dragon Quest Builders is heavily story based so you as a player never get confused to what's going on or who someone is in the game. There is a demo in the eShop and I suggest trying it out to see if you like it. It's what got me into the game and I'm glad I did. Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle this game was really weird sounding when it was announced, but I'm glad I gave the game a try. In this crossover game, rabbits have taken over the Mushroom Kingdom, and you play as a team mixed between Mario characters and some rabbits characters, dressed as Mario characters. The game is a turn-based tactical shooter similar to games like XCOM with a mixture of puzzles scattered around the world. The battles take strategy and careful planning, with some having a different goal, such as taking Toad to the end of the level unharmed or finishing the battle in a certain amount of moves. The rabbits can be considered annoying to some, but they don't seem to bother me personally, as they fit in the game's humor. And that is 6 games that I recommend Switch owners to give a try. If you have any games that you recommend for other Switch owners to play, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to this channel, consider hitting that subscribe button to stay up to date with my future videos. Anyway, that's it for this video, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you guys later.